Welcome, my name is Thomas Lethford again. I'm back in another video for the income tax preparation course. And uh, this is hands on lessons, sessions seven through nine. And here in this uh, page, uh, actually, content that you'll use to prepare the individual income tax uh, lessons by hand with. And you'll get additional emails to give you more information for each uh, scenario on this page that's going to allow you to prepare the return without you have to guess what information that you should plug in, you'll get an email with other documents that's gonna support uh, each scenario uh, in detail where you can uh, prepare the return by hand uh, in the comfort of your own home at your own leisure with 12 month access to all the videos. Uh, so Belinda Jones was born May 12, 1947, and she receives 1099 uh, which is retirement income. So you will receive an email, which is going to give you additional information that you're going to use to be able to prepare this return with and be able to come up with a solution to her tax return. She's either going to get a refund or she's going to owe money or she's going to break even. Uh, the next one is Carl Mason, his birthday. He's blind. He also receives retirement income, 299. You'll get an email with his information that's going to allow you to uh, see prepare his return uh, with more information that applies to him so you don't have to guess what that is uh, on your own. The next person, Renee Johnson, has Form 5995 and tip income and receives a W-2 and uh, 8880 and Form 4137 and two kids and Form 1098 in the amount of 10850 so there's quite a few things going on here, but you're familiar with uh, some of it already due to prior lessons. Like um, 5695 is residential energy credit. Uh, that's the name of the number of the form, but the title is called residential energy, energy credit, uh, which you'll get information about. Tip income will be on her W-2 boxes 7 and 8, and 12 deals with 8880, which is... Uh, the saving contribution credit that they will qualify for, along with the form 4137, which comes along with people who receive tip income uh, that you'll have them prepare a form for uh, by hand, along with mortgage interest, which is a 1098 form, 1098 form you'll get information about that you that you was given information about up front that's going to go on the Schedule A, which is uh, itemized deduction sheet, line 10. So in this scenario, you get additional email with additional information that's going to allow you to uh, prepare this return by hand. And when you finish, you'll be able to tell me if she got a refund coming, did she owe any money to the IRS or did she break even? And then from there, the next one is Billy Watson has two kids for 2441 in amount of 8099 and a W-2 and form 4137. So this person has child care dependent care expenses for the two kids, along with uh, the amount that they paid the child care provider of eight nine eight thousand ninety nine, and they also have tip income included on the W two, which is the reason they get the form forty one thirty seven mentioned inside of this scenario, and you'll get additional information with this one that's going to allow you to successfully complete this uh, return also uh, with the information you need to be able to fill out the uh, forms by hand and get a conclusion on Billy Watt's situation as well. Uh, the next one is Jenny Bacon has Form 8863, which is education credit in the amount of $4,087 and two kids, and also 1099G unemployment, and she also has 1099INT, which is interest income in the amount of 108, which will go on line 8A of the 1040 for 2017. All these forms that we're dealing with are strictly 2017 at this point because a lot of times the 2018 forms and information are not completely ready. So we always stick with the year that we in when it comes to doing the class and the uh, training from. And then when 2018 roll around and you decide to uh, stay a part of the team, then you'll get additional training uh, using 2018 uh, income tax forms, which may vary some based on tax reform changes uh, that's 
going forward in next year, or they may stay the same. We won't know until they finish with everything. But you'll have a video training that's going to cover everything from prior year information to tax reform information uh, that where you are completely covered on what's going on in the industry as it relates to uh, prior information as well as new information, well as tax reform information, the whole gamut you will be educated on when it comes to that. So you'll be able to successfully and effectively prepare tax returns by hand without any trouble. So that's what that's all about. Uh, so the next one will be Gail London has two kids, a W-2 form 2441, which stands for Child Dependent Care Expense in the form of uh, an amount of 8397 and also Form 8880, uh, which means she has uh, a contribution to a 401k uh, taken out, which is in box 12 of her W-2 that you'll see when you get the information emailed to you on what you need to do to prepare that information. And so, like I say, you'll have enough videos that's going to help you to successfully uh, learn how to prepare individual income taxes by hand. Uh, regardless if I'm sitting there in the room which you're not and so that's what the videos are geared towards they are like me sitting in a room with you going over all this information but you have the advantage of being able to consume this information 24 7 for 12 months uh, in the form of watching the videos that's going to help you to learn how to effectively and properly learn how to prepare individual income taxes by hand which will give you a better understanding of what you're doing and what you're learning by hand that people, than other people who are learning it uh, through other formats. You know, so that's the advantage you have over everybody else. When I learned this back in 95 by hand, I had a better understanding of what I was doing by hand than people who may have learned it later on by strictly learning it through the computer. And so that's the advantage you have over other people is once you truly learn this, uh, skill set by hand and you'll be able to better explain it to your clients and to other people because you better because you have a better understanding of what you're doing uh, based on information given uh, so the next one is Sheila Biscuit has two kids a W-2 child care expense of 8611 uh, I didn't mention the form this time I just strictly gave you the child care expense amount and you will have to get the form needed that goes with child care expenses and at this point, you should already know what form that is uh, at this point in the in the course because now we're dealing with uh, sessions 7 through 9, which is week 7 through 9. And that 7 through 9, in week 7 through 9, if you don't know what 2441 equals to or you don't know what child care expense um, title or number is by this point, then you're really not uh, getting into the information in the way you should to really be learning it. If seven to nine weeks later, you don't know uh, what form you need for that situation. And that's the difference between really learning it and really learning it. And so next one is Donna Rice has W-2 form 8880 and residential energy credit in the amount of 1588. So residential energy credit uh, is equal to the form 5695. And like I say with me, a lot of times I'm using the form number and you'll have to learn what that form number is uh, by the title. But in this situation, I gave you the title, and the form number is 5695. And when you see 8880, that's dealing with the 401k contributions uh, that's going to be on the W-2 in box 12 that the person made towards the retirement account for the year. And you may or may not qualify for uh, contribution savings credit uh, for that particular scenario or not, but it's just mentioned because they have 401k contributions inside of their uh, tax return doesn't guarantee that they're going to qualify for that credit based on their overall situation. And that's how that goes. Next one is Benny Baldwin is blind and has 1099R, which is retirement income. And you'll get email on uh, additional information on his situation so you know what forms you're going to need to have to fill out for him and if uh, anything else to, to be considered in his situation, uh, you'll get the additional information through email. And the next one is Chris Taylor. He's a barber. He has net income 
And so what type of tax will he possibly pay on his tax return? Well, Chris is a self-employed barber. He works for himself. And if he has any net profits, he will pay self-employment tax on his money. So that's the answer to that question. And you'll also receive additional email information on Chris that's going to allow you to fill out a tax return for him uh, based on the information given uh, about Chris Taylor's overall situation when it comes to preparing an individual income tax return for him uh, in this course. And so, like I said, in this course, you're going to get enough videos that's going to educate you and train you and show you how to fill out every form that you're learning about and why you're filling it out. And the, the whole basic aspects to learning about how to prepare individual income taxes are going to be given to you in the form of videos that you're going to have a full 12 months access to as being a student of mine who's paid to take this course, which you was given full 12 months access to uh, for being a paid student. Um, that's how that works. And so in the upcoming video, we're going to be dealing with uh, sessions 10 through 12, the Q&A part, and sessions 10 through 12, the hands-on part. And so basically after that, you will be finished with the course uh, based on your agenda, based on your motives for taking it, based on what you plan on doing with this information. Uh, it's going to uh, determine if you how quickly you go through this information and learn it uh, and, and prepare the returns with and, and pass the course. It's, it's going to be the case. If you're taking this course just for personal reasons, you have no true desire to make a career out of it, then you're going to basically take your time more likely. But if you're here to take the course, because you plan on working with me, either with the partnership program or the career training program, then you're going to be taking the course more seriously because it's going to cost you more money uh, to be a part of those two different programs uh, that I have for people who want to make a career out of the income tax preparation industry. And I'll see you in the next videos coming up.